The Nation Brand Forum, currently underway in Sent in Johannesburg, is tasked with finding ways of rebuilding the country's economy and research is key to help find some of these solutions. Tuduzile Ramela is at the event and is standing by to talk to us now and she's going to have a guest that she will talk to. Tuduzile, good morning to you. It's a very, very important forum that you are attending and have been for the past two days. We're trying to figure out ways of marketing this country, South Africa, as a brand and that has to be a very difficult task given some of the stories we have been reporting about Mpumalanga is one case in point yeah absolutely right so how do you manage a brand like south africa as we are in Santon, some parts of uh, uh, this suburb not having water for a number of days now then you have the issue of load shedding you have the issue of corruption even though there is so much and it feels so heavy right now there's also a, a lot of work that is being done in the background right to turn the tide uh, and to really make or bring South Africa out in a positive light because some of those good stories are there and that is why we're about to get into conversation uh, with Jan Vechelen who is with Mark Data in terms of the research that you do on perceptions about South Africa. Thank you very much for joining us here on Newsroom Africa. Perfect, thank you. Maybe let's start with that, right? Um, the kind of work that you do and why research is important especially when we speak about branding South Africa not only in a positive but honest light yeah, thank you, and for that introduction as well. The, as you as you said, there are all kinds of things happening um, in in the country that we need to navigate and find our way through. And the importance of research is to keep track of what those events are and how they influence the the kind of constructs or thoughts of people as they work through these different things. Mm. And as a, at, a, at a national level, that becomes a very big body of knowledge from all the different perceptions and processes that people consider in the different lives that they live, mm. in the different areas of the country, and those, those impact them in, in different ways. Sure. So, um, it is, it is critical to, to monitor that process going forward and we've been doing that, um, it's, a, it's a joint venture between Mark Data and African Response that uh, we've been doing that now for, for the last uh, six years or this is the sixth year and um, it's a very interesting story. And let's get into that, that story, yeah. right? So what um, is the perception of South Africa from the point of view of South Africans? We started off in, well, many years ago in 1994 very energized and it was the miracle nation and we had the um, rainbow nation and all of those kind of um, attributes that, that kept the nation on a certain trajectory. We, we, we felt we were building towards something and a lot of that happened um, and in, even in the 2008 and the recession and all of those things, we, we stayed on course, we kept focused on that. Um, we started measuring it in 2017, so that for us is, is the kind of benchmark here as to where we pick up the conversation that we're busy with now. And 2017 was the year that, uh, December 2017 is when we changed presidents. And in 2018, we had a lot of, you know, the state capture and all other kinds of um, commissions of inquiry that came out. What, what the nation reacted to in that sense was not really seeing that the, or, or seeing that the, the process through which corruption and all of those kind of events led to this point at which we have a certain view of where the country is going, but it seems as if there are other people who have a different view. Mm. And that began, be, started the, the kind of unraveling, if you like, of that. And um, 
we hardly recovered in 2019 of that process um, and just beginning to make sense of it. And then in 2020, as we all know, um, COVID hit the world all over. And for a nation that's beginning to build itself and finding its feet in terms of its diversity, its history, its rich culture and language, um, it gave little opportunity. We had social distancing and we had to keep distance from one another. Um, and now in 2021 and 2022, it's about how do we bring those things together again? And, uh, you mentioned a word um, that we as South Africans reacted to the situation, right? Where you find in the research that South Africans want the country to go in one direction, but there are other people who want it to go in a different direction. How then um, do we reposition ourselves so that we can present ourselves on the world stage and say this is what we are about because the, what is our identity outside of load shedding, <laughs> outside yeah, of yeah. having yeah. no water, outside <laughs> of corruption? Yeah, we are we are a nation that can carry on about what you know what what things are going on around us, and it's and there are there are various um, indicators about what that what that is all about, and that is if you if you look historically, we needed a very strong government to lead us from 1994 coming out of our, our previous dispensation. So, and it was, it was necessary for that, guiding, for that guidance to take us forward. However, for a nation to find its own identity, you also need to recognize what you as a nation are about, hmm. the social construct as a nation. What are we about? irrespective of what the government is sure. or what other processes What are does the research, research show? What the are research is, is, is showing that there are areas or pockets or um, one, of, one, one example I can give you is from um, the um, riots and looting for instance. It, it brought communities together Hmm. The instigator of that is obviously a horrible story about that. But there are indicators of where communities were forced to work together and do something about that. And that, those forms of cohesion, even though they're a little bit fragile and they're a little, you know, in their early days and so on, there are, there are indicators that they've, they've become stronger, even though not led by a uh, third party in the sense of a government or a municipality or whatever the case may be. And in COVID we found similar examples, yeah. you know, of just communities working through different processes and helping one another. Our ability to recover exactly. as South Africans. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Essentially. exactly. Thank you so much uh, to Jan Velchelan of Mark Data. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. And that's just it, Polly. Uh, what makes us unique? Our ability to recover. Yes, a lot is going on right now, but uh, nothing we cannot get over, right, as history has taught us here in South Africa. Polly Mgambi, it's back to you. Thank you very much, Tuduzile Ramela. Life for us in Santin, very, very important forum. It